Hello everyone, I am slightly lost in Elden Ring once again. So I've done a lot of work since the last episode. Uh, I now have the scaled armor. I, uh, I dealt with what's his name. Um, Istvan. So now we're wearing that instead. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are meant to be dragon scales. Uh, we got the, what is it called? Ripple Crescent Halberd. I got it up to plus 16 uh, because it scales with arcane. Uh, I did some stat adjustments. So now... Uh, we still got the Radagon Sore Seal and Merica's Scar Seal on. Uh, I went and got Godfrey Icon, which enhances charged spells and skills. I also got the Radagon Icon, which will shorten them. Uh, the goal is to remove my dependency on this, but use Merica's Sore Seal when we get that, and then have... So it'll be America's Source Seal, Godfrey's Icon, Radagon's Icon, and there's one that reduces FP costs at the result of, like, reduces FP costs by, like, 25% at the cost of having 15% less health. Uh, but because I did that, uh, I have no points invested in Strength or Dexterity. The only reason I have 17 in them is because my starting stats are 12. And uh, Radagon's so Sore Seal gives me plus 5 in each of those. Um, because I figured if we're going to lean super into Arcane, we might as well just have a weapon that scales well with Arcane. And there's not, there are no dragon weapons that scale well with arcane. So unfortunately we had to move away from that. But uh, I also didn't want to just copy a Fextra Life build. So I had to find something other than uh, the I don't think I have yeah. that's okay. Hey, talisman pouch. That went so incredibly well. Uh, not even four minutes in and we got one boss dead already. All right. Does that one give you a remembrance? No, but I've got some... I don't think I have enough for a second level. Yeah, I'd need to get 11,000. I don't think I've got enough for that. Um.
Get wrecked, son. Oh, I've got six of those, or three of those. That might actually give me enough. Oh yeah. Blessing of the Earth Tree. So the best way to get ourselves off of Radagon's Sore Seal is five more Endurance from our current level. Because I can medium roll at 30 Endurance. But I want to get my Vigor up first. I want to get one more level after this into Vigor, and then we'll do Endurance, and then we'll get Mind to 30, and then it will just be Vigor, Endurance, and Arcane after that. Maybe not even Endurance. If I can get to 30 Endurance, I think I'll be okay. We definitely want Melina's help for this fight. That's always fun. Um, so with using the Ripple Crescent Halberd, we're leaning in whenever we can to... Uh, that was another thing I did. Um, so instead of using a dragon weapon that deals additional damage to dragons, we are going to be using dragon dragon wound grease on our weapon, uh, but we're leaning into the grease side of things since we're doing arcane. And I want to apply this before the cutscene. Not interested in the cutscene. Honestly, the idea is to be using the dragon spells. Oh, I don't like being stuck in a corner. GG, bruh. Inventory. We definitely don't need... Well, we'll save it for now. Uh, I don't know if talking to him is actually necessary to progress anything, but I'm going to talk to him just to be sure. 
Dragon Ice does work. I'm looking forward to when we can fight Borealis and get his breath instead. Refusal to all. Within the hut where you will become my target, so I want you to return the arrow and try. Yeah. Ta da. Okay, and then we. Where the avenue balcony is versus where you have to go always fucks me up because it feels backwards. So, I don't think I ever showed it, but I got uh, a bolt of Grand Sacks. This was the initial plan. That's why I had 20 strength and 40 dexterity. But I was just, I was splitting myself so thin because I needed a few levels in Faith. I needed a bunch in Arcane to make the spells good. I needed... Vigor, mind, endurance. I needed a little bit in strength. I needed a lot in dexterity. Literally, the only thing I wasn't putting levels into at that point was intelligence. And that's... That's too thin. So I decided against it. take this boss on this will show me how good my build is at omen killers or no these are the omens not the omen killers Man, Dragon Ice puts everything on easy mode. Ooh, that bleed proc did some work. I wish I could say that was a difficult fight. I'm feeling a lot more confident about this build now that I've changed changed jump changed some shit up. Oof, that's a hard sentence to say. Part of me wants to grab Godric's rune. Because that'll 
give us five more points into vigor, mind, endurance. Faith isn't helping us out too much, but a little bit. And arcane. But if I die, I lose it unless I pop another rune arc. And I haven't been going out of my way to grab rune arcs because I don't want to be reliant on on my uh on my great rune. This area sucks. I think he might be a little too far. That got a little too close for comfort. But it gave us enough for a level. And we've made it to one of my least favorite areas. Spinning Slash is not the one I thought it was. It's like, I'm sure we can just rip that guy to shreds, but the one I'm thinking of can't remember what it's called but you hold it above your head and you just spin it in circles for days
All right, now that we have the maximum number of flasks, we're going to give Borealis a shot. And I've got dragon wound grease. I'm not sure. It says anti dragon stuff. I'm hoping. How did that breath attack hit me? Okay, we got this. Honestly, I could just let the rot finish him and we'll be okay. My heart is fucking pounding right now. I don't think I've ever successfully killed that dude that easily. Like his roar attack usually gets me. Oh, I, I wish I had a face cam right now because my hands are fucking shaking. That's why I fucking love these games, dude. Like, there's not a lot of bosses in other games that like get my heart pumping, get my hands shaking, get me like freaking out when I beat them. Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Bloodborne. That shit does. All right. Our flasks are nearly maxed out. We can put another level into endurance. Level 100, we're looking good. All right. Uh, well, that's that for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye, adios, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, and if I don't see you tomorrow, have a wonderful day.